Welcome to PADT, Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS certified channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Southwest United States across six states. Our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, and we have offices near Salt Lake City, Utah, Los Angeles, California, Denver, Colorado, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. In addition, we provide training, mentoring, and simulation consulting with these ANSYS tools worldwide. Good day, this is Joe Woodward from PADT. I hope more and more of you are trying out the reverse engineering tools inside of ANSYS Space Claim. For those of you who have tried it, I want to share some changes in the behavior between version 17.2 and 18.0. One of the changes is great, but one of them causes some frustration if you don't know the workaround. So here I have just a conical STL surface. First, let's limit your frustration. If we go to Insert tab, we have a Reverse Engineering section, our Skin Surface tool. If we single click, we get a start with the corner point, a single click for control points. Now in 17.2, if you double clicked like that, this would be a corner point. But instead, in 18, you just hover over it, now double click, and it changes to a corner point. So we can do single, single click, double click that, and turn it into a corner point. Once you know the workaround, it's not that big a deal. We can then go back and add some control points to it. You can highlight and grab and move the control points around. So as long as you can see the preview and it's showing up, then it will make a complete surface. So I'm just going to click the check mark to finish the process and create that surface. So now that we have a surface, just like in 17.2, we can pick a point that's already there, double click for the corners, and as I highlight, it's still going to assume that you want to use the edge that's already there to add to your patches. Now the other behavior change, the one that's great, is that under the measure tool, we can look at the deviation. If we pick the surface first, then hold down your control key and pick your STL facets. It is now giving us the deviation of sample points off the surface to the STL so that everything that's within tolerance is green and we get a maximum distance inside and outside of the surface to the STL. In 17.2 it would calculate the distance from all the STL points to the surface. So our maximums would show the distance of the points out here to the surface and not really be useful for the deviation of the surface from the STL. So now we can use the measure deviation tool to check our accuracy on a patch by patch basis to make sure that we are getting the accuracy that we need. That's all I wanted to show for today. Please look for more video tips on improving the accuracy and efficiency of your reverse engineering in the coming weeks. Thank you. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.